Ahoy Bashikni, it's Jen from Dream Prague. I started this channel a couple years ago at the very beginning of two years of <clears throat> mandatory home time. But my goal was always to showcase Prague and the Czech Republic and to get more people to travel here, to get more people to take the leap and maybe move here for a year or more. And now, after the past two years, many people are more able to work from home or even better, to work from anywhere. And I think the one thing we've all realized during the past two years is that if you dream of doing something big and adventurous, you should do it now. So this video is for all of you adventurous people who dream of moving abroad, but are a little stuck knowing where to go. I'm gonna to try to convince you that the Czech Republic is the perfect place for you. But first, I wanna take a moment to thank my longtime sponsor, italki, the platform which has been absolutely essential to my learning Czech and starting a life here. If you don't know, italki is a language learning platform that connects students and teachers. And they are really focused on helping you find your perfect teacher match. Every teacher on italki has something unique to offer. I've been learning on italki for years, and so I've found a few perfect matches, depending on what kind of lesson I'm looking for that week. No matter what your goal is, you'll improve much faster when you meet your perfect teacher match. Let me show you how italki can help you do that. There's no subscription fee to register. Go to the link below and choose your language. Fill in some criteria, like what skills you want to focus on, what time you want to have lessons, your budget, and what you're looking for in a teacher. Then italki will provide your top teacher matches. There's no need to pick just one. Schedule a few lessons with different teachers until you find the one or maybe even two who meet your needs. I can honestly say that working one-on-one -on -one with my favorite italki teachers is the greatest thing I've done to improve my check. And why waste time and money with expensive in-person schools before you even know if they're a good match for you. Italki removes the guesswork and enables you to make meaningful connections so you're not only learning a language, you're actually making a new friend in that culture. So check out the link below to take advantage of Italki's Perfect Match program. When you do, you help me support this channel so I can keep making you more videos. So thank you. Okay, let's find out if the Czech Republic is a perfect match for you. You like to live dangerously. You've already decided to move abroad, but Barcelona, London, Paris... <sighs> let's face it, the wicker chairs outside Café de Flore are well-worn. <laughs> but Prague? Olomots? Brno? I bet for most of your friends or family, the Czech Republic is uncharted territory. Your parents' generation probably never dreamed of being able to visit Czechoslovakia. And sadly, they probably still call it that. So why not live dangerously and be the first person you know to stake your flag in the Czech Republic? Metaphorically, of course. They'd prefer if you kept your flag on your backpack. The Czechs left communism behind only 33 years ago, and sometimes I feel like I'm watching this city and this country evolve and grow in real time. Why not be a part of that? The untrodden path, my friend, is for you. You want to be safe. The Czech Republic is repeatedly listed in the top 10 safest countries on the planet. The experts put this down to safe communities, low crime rate, difficulty acquiring weapons, and the lack of terrorism. The only real threat to life and limb in Prague are the trams. Thankfully, so far in 2022, the body count is still zero. So far. But even if you do have a run-in with a tram at Ipe Pavlova, and who hasn't, 
Health insurance in this country is extremely affordable. I pay just over $100 a month, and I'm still alive. You're a meat lover. Beef, pork, chicken, duck, rabbit, lamb. If it has fur or feathers, you can find it on a check menu. It is not uncommon to see six or seven different types of meat dishes offered in a Czech restaurant. For the best quality product, you'll want to head out to a Czech village for a zabiachka, a full day pig slaughter where the town gathers together, drinks shots of Slivovitsa, and gets to know a pig's insides intimately. Arrive at dawn and bring a strong stomach. You're vegan or a vegetarian. Remember what I said about Prague evolving in real time? When I arrived in 2012, almost the only vegetarian option on the menu was a massive piece of fried cheese topped with mayonnaise. And in just a decade, vegan and vegetarian bistros have proliferated throughout the city. Prague is regularly one of the top five cities in Europe with the most vegan and vegetarian dining options per capita. Check out Randy over at Veggie Visa if you want to see the full gamut of veggie options in this city. I'll link her Vegan Prague Locals Guide in the description box below. You like to be in the center of things. Until a certain Eastern European country invaded another Eastern European country a little while ago, you might have thought that the Czech Republic was also in Eastern Europe. And then you looked at a map and realized, hey, Czech Republic is actually smack dab in the center of Europe. So if you're a person that likes to be in the heart of the action, this country is definitely the place for you. In just a few hours, you can drive or take the train from Prague to four other European capitals. You can fly from Prague Airport to all the other European capitals in even less time. Well, almost all of them. How does jetting off to a different country once a month rate on your adventure scale? You like to get away. One of the Czechs' favorite things to do on the weekends is to get the heck out of the city. The Czechs had a long tradition of fleeing to their cottages during communism to escape the watchful eye of Big Brother. And because in most cases, they weren't allowed to travel outside this country. So the Czech chata, or cottage, deep in the countryside away from the dirty city became their favorite vacation spot. Even if you don't have an invitation to someone's cottage, put on your hiking boots and head to one of the national parks like Bohemian Switzerland or Bohemian Paradise. Or if you like to travel in rowdy packs, rent a kayak and go camping along the Vltava River. You dream of life as a fairy tale princess. Deep down, we Americans are fascinated by all things royal. So when you pack for your year-long adventure in the Czech Republic, don't forget your tiara, because you literally cannot run out of castles in this country to explore. There are over 2,000 castles, the most per square kilometer in all of Europe. From castles that house the king's jewels to ancient castles that still host a functioning government, semi-functioning, there's no end to the fairy tale magic in the Czech Republic. You're more of a minimalist. You want no part of hundred room castles or fancy pre-war flats. You prefer to live in a characterless box. Then the Czech Republic is the place for you. In the early 2000s, over one third of the country's population lived in prefab paneled apartments called panelaki. Think of them as the IKEA of apartment buildings. Cheaply constructed, lacking in individual characteristics, and insanely popular. While these panelaki might have had a bad reputation, even former President Václav Havel called them undignified rabbit pens. Lots of Czechs love them. Despite their somewhat boring appearance, they often have more reliable heating, 
plumbing, and better access to high-speed Wi-Fi. Speaking as someone who lives in Bougie Vinohrady and was just told that I'm ineligible for the highest speed Wi-Fi because it's not available in my building, I'm starting to eye those boxy panelaki on the city's outskirts. You can have my crown molding. I'll take a faster Wi-Fi connection any day. You're a stickler for rules and regulations. You might want to get some counseling for that. But if you are, this country is the perfect match for you. You have never seen the likes of the required signatures, blue ink, and official stamps. Now the Czechs like to blame their Austro-Hungarian oppressors for their overabundance of bureaucratic paperwork. That was, if you're counting, three oppressors ago. But that was over a hundred years ago before those little ladies at the Urzad were even born. And they just love their stamps and signatures and notarized copies of notarized copies. As an example, I just took a 30 question multiple choice citizenship exam. And I was more concerned about following the rules of the test than the actual answers of the test. The proctor spent more time before the test explaining the rules about what to do with our phones, our watches, our pencils, pencil sharpeners, pencil erasers, purses, jackets, test manuals, answer sheets, and hands during the test than the actual 15 minutes I spent answering the test questions. You're smart enough to know which rules don't apply to you and you'll fit right in. The Czechs might like to create a lot of rules and regulations, but they don't follow them. This was on full display over the past few dark years. The government would make some totally strict, mandatory requirements like you can eat in a restaurant, but if the police show up, you have to produce for them a negative test. And so I, the good foreigner, went out and bought all of these self-tests. And I don't think there was a single instance in the entire country of police actually checking them. The Czechs are pragmatic. And they have centuries of dealing with governments trying to corral them into some new stupid set of rules or way of doing things. They kind of just look both ways. And if no one is watching, and they're not hurting anyone. They just do what they need to do. Rules be damned. A word of warning. Rules might not apply to Czechs, but they often apply to foreigners. So if you're caught drinking in public, around 50 other Czechs that are also drinking in public, just try to follow their lead and not stand out as a guilty foreigner. You'll be fine. You're afraid of heights. Don't worry, you won't find any heights in the Czech Republic. Our tallest mountain, Snežka, is only 1,603 meters above sea level, which is the 34th highest mountain in Europe and exactly one third the height of France's tallest mountain, Mont Blanc. You can literally drive from Prague to the Krokonoše Mountains, scale Snežka, and be home in time for dinner. Even little Tobik has done it. And for you city dwellers who are afraid of heights, don't worry. The Czech Republic has nary a skyscraper. Literally, not one. Okay, they have one. It's called the Pilsen skyscraper and it has eight floors. Czechs prefer to keep their feet on solid ground. The official definition of a skyscraper is a building with 40 floors or taller than 150 meters and the Czech Republic's tallest building, the AZ Tower in Brno, reaches only 116 meters tall, making it as unnoteworthy as the town where it stands. You love a good view. You don't have to be up high to get exceptional views in this country. So if you love a view that looks like it could be hanging in a museum, then Prague is the city for you. 
I'm often stunned by the random views of the Prague Castle that I see just when I'm walking on a sidewalk somewhere. Because the Voltsava River is the lowest point of the city, it forms sort of a basin. And when you get up a little higher, like in Letna or Agrovisadi, or Vishehrad, or Petrin, or one of my favorite secret parks, Parukarska, the views are absolutely breathtaking. And you never had to leave the ground. And this is because of the natural topography. You're just kind of drawn to the center of the city by gravity. I hope this video has drawn you just a little bit closer to this city and to this country. There wasn't enough time for me to tell you everything I love about it, so please check out some of my other videos to get a little bit of a taste. And don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell so you get notified every time I make a new video. Uvidimese prishtitidan. Ahoy.